Right, tell you there, champs. Now, this is the fastest PCI Express 5 SSD on the planet, Wharf. You know, every now and then, something comes out that is truly groundbreaking, and PCIe Gen 5 NVMe M.2 SSDs are something special. This is the crucial T700 SSD, and I've got to tell you now, this thing is out of this world. This thing here is nearly two times faster than a Gen 4 NVMe SSD. Yes, nearly two times faster. Around 1.8 times faster. And you can actually use it. It's backwards compatible. So if you've got a PCIe Gen 4 slot, this will go into it. I put it into this laptop here. That's Gen 4. Because at the moment, there's not a lot of, you know, M.2s that are, you know, Gen 5. So it's great that you can put it in a Gen 4 and you can future-proof. So you can buy this now. And so when you upgrade your system in the future, it's going to work in your Gen 5 system. So when it comes in laptops and new PC builds, uh, yeah, you can still buy this now, put it in your older system, and you'll know it'll be future proof. Now, it comes in one terabyte, two terabyte, and four terabytes. Why would you buy one terabyte? At least get a two terabyte. We have here claimed SSD speeds of 12,400 megabytes per second reads. Wow. And 11,800 megabytes per second writes. Yes, you heard. That is just out of this world, right? So your Gen 4, 7,000 megabytes per second is looking second rate at the moment now, isn't it? Nearly double the speed, right? And this one here is the heatsink edition. You can get it without the heatsink. You can take this heatsink off. I just get I rigged it into the laptop. Of course, not going to fit with the heatsink. But yeah, I guess obviously if you've got a desktop system, you might as well keep the heatsink on. It really does work because I had it in this laptop and I was just feeling the bottom when I was doing like runs, you know, testing the SSD speed and I could feel this, you know, heatsink heat up. It works really well and I haven't noticed any throttling going back to back to back with this. Of course, I'm running at these Gen 4 speeds there. Now this is 232 layer TLC NAND made by Micron, okay? So this is crucial. And given all the problems, you know, people have been having with Samsung SSDs lately, I don't recommend Samsung SSDs anymore. I only recommend Crucial. I've recommended Crucial for a very long time, not just SSDs. Also for RAM, because, you know, Crucial is the retail arm of Micron. So Micron make the best RAM and SSD sort of NAND storage there. I mean, these things are bulletproof, the Crucial stuff. You know, system builders use them. I remember Pugent System, they would only use at one point, they would only use Crucial RAM because, you know, Samsung RAM was playing up. So, you know, with Crucial stuff, anything by Micron, it's top quality stuff there. And I will leave a link in the description to these products. So it has an endurance rating of 1200 TB. So that's a TBW. We've already talked about the speed there. And it has a five year warranty. Now some salient points about this. If you're wanting these 12,400 megabytes per second sort of read speeds. You're going to have to have a Gen 5 slot. My system is actually a pretty beefy system. Does not have Gen 5 M.2 SSD, right? Or M.2 sort of slot. Has a Gen 4, right? All your laptops, they're only going to have Gen 4. Next generation, you're going to have Gen 5. There may be one or two that have Gen 5, but really, Gen 5 is not really a thing. But of course, as I've told you, these things are backwards compatible. So if you want a future proof for your laptop, for obviously you're not going to get the heatsink if you get the laptop, but even like your gaming system, you want a future proof, you can get these now. And then when you upgrade in the future, you're going to have a super fast SSD. This is great for direct storage. So Microsoft Windows 11, you're getting direct storage. This is going to be fast loading of assets into the graphics card, less CPU usage, all that sort of stuff you get with direct storage. This is going to be the best SSD. SSD obviously for direct storage gaming and that sort of thing and of course for content creation just wow this is just going to be amazing now the salient point is as I said before you need gen 5 m.2 slot to get the maximum speed out of this I tested it on a gen 4 it just saturated the bust got exactly what you would expect over 7,000 megabytes per second read speeds which is fast as a gen 4 bus will go so you still get maximum gen 4 speeds but if you want the gen 5 speeds you need a gen 5 m.2 slot now i got two motherboards sent to me recently said 790s you know the latest chipset from intel but if you want Gen 5 speeds, you're going to have to get the higher end motherboards and you're going to probably have to wait for the 
next generation of laptops, you know, before we get Gen 5 M.2 SSD. You know, as much as I could test this, because I don't have a Gen 5 slot, so as good as I could test this back to back to back on a Gen 4 sort of M.2 slot, this thing performed flawlessly, super fast. You know, the heatsink really works. It didn't slow down at all. And it can even do 1,500 IOPS, random read and writes. That's how fast this thing is with Gen sort of 5 SSD. Wow, what an SSD. So I think I'm going to have to buy myself a more expensive Asus motherboard or whatever. One of the top end gaming motherboards so I can get Gen 5 M.2 SSD because this is like another level compared to Gen 4. It's just wow. <laughs> great time in there for the laptop just wow i mean the speeds we're getting now it's just insane you had to raid stuff to get this sort of speed before you know 12,400 megabytes per second you know reads of one single ssd wolf that's what i'm talking about and it's crucial so you know it's gonna last catch you in the next one telly ho